Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your mid-February readings. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. So first, we're going to talk about love. Then we're going to talk about career and finance. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Jump right in. What's going to happen with my Gemini's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's career and finance. For now until the end of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Gemini. So we're going to lay down nine cards here. And then we're going to look at what's going to happen first, then second. Someone's addicted to your love. Okay. There's a defeated energy. So it looks like to me that there's going to be an ending for a new beginning here, Gemini, with the death card energy. Let's see what this is about. What's going to happen to my Gemini's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's career and finance. For now until the end of February, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Someone is really in their, their emotions about some kind of regretting about ending a relationship or they're feeling bad and they're ready to end this relationship to come forward. So let's see what this is about, Gemini. Let's see is this deck. Let's go have my Gemini's romantic love vibe now until the end of February. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. So there were some concerns about somebody who was lying or is feeling bad about lying deceptions about ending a situation or wanting to end a situation because somebody wasn't telling the truth. Okay, what is this about? Let's have my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's career and finance. For now until the end of February, show me cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Gemini, let's take a look here. There's something about this soulmate connection, someone who sees there's an opportunity, but somebody wasn't being honest about the regrets, and they're ready to take that leap of faith and ready to end another situation to come forward. We see that there is this wanting to give to the connection, Six of Pentacles energy, and a lot of happy energy coming in here with the Joyful card. Because there is strong feelings here, romantic feelings, and it's like these feelings are real and worth exploring. So someone is about to open up and speak their truth to you about this soulmate connection, about this opportunity. They're going to speak their truth. They're going to take the mask off. There's no more lying. There's no more deceptions. They're going to come clean here. There's a cautious energy around this. There's a defensive energy around this. There's a little bit of standoffish energy about it because of how the connection came together in the past. There also could be a sister, a daughter, and some other infringing party, a family member, okay? And it's like, I feel really bad about this situation. I can't believe this happened. I want to heal the situation. I want to fix the situation. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's set up my Gemini's romantic love life now until the end of February. Show me cards you can see. Show me the cards I need. To see. Okay, let's see. Yep, someone really has strong feelings for you, Gemini. And they're about to be single and available to pursue. Because there's been this concern about this third party influence, influence, in, inference into the situation. Okay? So we see there's this twin flame soulmate connection. And now there's a blessing coming in. The timing is aligning. So this is a divine connection. Okay? 
This is a divine alignment that's going to come up here. Yep. And they're asking you, do you want to say yes? You have the key to your success here. You finally have the key to your success, Gemini. But obviously things have to be done by the book. They have to be done in a structured, organized way. Okay. And there is also this concern of possibly new love, an offer of love, concerns of moving on to a new person. So it's like there's an awareness that this person's about to be single and available to pursue. And there's concerns about some kind of third party influence. So I feel like what's going on, just talking about this so far, I feel like there's been feelings with someone, but there's been a person that's been infringing upon the connection. That's about to end. And one of the people here is like, oh my God, if I don't jump on this, this person's going to go for a new person. Okay. So it's like, I better hold on to this person for a pentacles energy. So you see there's some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork. Okay. So going further here. Yep. They're letting you know I'm single and available to pursue. You're very happy about this. It's like a wish come true because there's been a holdup of this connection for a while. Yep, see the breakup. Someone is walking away. There is going to be a little bit of a period of a stagnation or stuck energy. I feel like because one of the people may be feeling like, well, I hope this person's actually telling me the truth. You know, um, I want to make sure everything is in alignment, okay, that they really are doing it this time. But it looks like there's going to be moving towards reuniting, okay? Reuniting with this person and trying to be patient till things come into balance. Because it's like, I don't want to get hurt again. This person has gone back with this person before and now they're coming forward saying that they really broke up with this person this time. So I want to be sure that, you know, that is the case. So there's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here. A, a deeper knowing, a sense of wisdom here. And the truth that's going to be revealed about the situation. Okay. So as you can see so far, right? There's somebody who is in love with you. They're about to be single and available to pursue. There may have been an isolation or separation around this situation because of a third party. And concerns about a new love. But now there's going to be a breakup and a truth that's going to be revealed. Okay. Because this person may have picked you, uh, picked someone else over you, Gemini. Okay. So we see that at, at before in the past. We see that there is still the self-doubt going on with the Nine of Swords energy. This person is single and available to pursue. So, or you may get somebody's help here with this situation. Okay. Yep, the Wheel of Fortune tells me it's divine timing. It's time. The timing wasn't right before, but the timing is now. Okay, so this is the right timing, Gemini. So it looks like you're going to really think about this. Take a rest, take a break, sleep on this, okay? There's something about this house, this home, the sense of safety, security, belonging. This person may feel like home. Okay, so there's definitely an offer of love coming in. True love, Ace of Cups energy. With the Ace of Cups coming out, it shows true love, emotional readiness here. And there is an invitation or a gift here, giving to this love, this offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. Okay, let's keep going. So it looks like, Gemini, you're going to have to make a decision about this very soon. And it does look like it's higher, a higher power involved with this opportunity, this offer. Okay, so this is a destined divine connection. This may be the person that you feel, okay, because some of you guys will ask me in the comments, who is this person? It's the person you feel divinely connected with, okay? That's that one. And it looks like you're going to reconcile with this person at this house, this home. This person that you feel like is home. This person that you feel a sense of comfort with. Yep, there's an offer on the table, Gemini. A huge potential, huge abundance coming in for you guys. A huge offer, Ace of Pentacles energy. This person's like, I want to be your main person. I see you as my main person, Gemini. Oh my God, Gemini, you're about to be so happy. There's a happy outcome for you guys coming up. 
because there's already a solid foundation built with this person, there may even be a proposal, okay, a marriage offer, but this is definitely a wish come true, okay? This is a wish come true for you guys. So there's somebody you have strong feelings with, okay? There was, there was a person who was a new love that possibly someone moved on to, and we see this house and home situation. I'm single and available to pursue. I broke up with this person and I wanna reconcile. There's this third party situation, this interference and this truth that's gonna be spoken and a love offer gonna be presented. So it's gonna be like, everything that you wanted to know about, you wanted to find out about is gonna be revealed to you. Okay, so we see this soulmate connection, this relationship, something is going by the book here. There's something you've been dreaming about, something you've been thinking about. This person's gonna reveal their truth, tell you their true feelings. This is gonna be a wish come true because this is a spiritual connection, an opportunity. Something's gonna heal about this situation. There's a deeper knowing about this and the solid foundation around it. There were some de deceptions here, dishonesty, but now the opportunity presents itself. The timing is right. There's strong feelings here, single and available to pursue. Decisions will have to be made. There is a lot of regrets, but there is gonna be some patient energy for things to come into balance, but there's a happy outcome for you guys. Looking at the bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart conversations. Yeah, I hear it's heating up. Something about this money and finance situation that's been affecting your romantic love life. Someone decides to assert themselves when it came to people. They're missing you, there's a strong attraction here, you're the wisest decision for me, the offer of love, lots of soul searching about the spiritual connection and a relationship. I feel bad about this, the timing is right, I'm single and available to pursue, there's a happy energy, letter message document, we see a gift, giving, we see this infringing party, family member, friend, we see reuniting, um, and we see main person card coming out with someone from before. So an ending of a relationship and self-doubt, giving, holding on to an offer of love. And we see cautiousness, feeling stuck, stagnant, ready to make a sacrifice for this new abundance, this huge offer, Ace of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys, it could be both love and a potential long-term commitment, or it could be two different people here, Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like it's one person. Let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Geminis when it comes to a romantic love life for their highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Now into the end of February, it's really crazy to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it's time to release a situation so you can focus on this new beginning. And now you're gonna overcome, the toughest part of this is now over. The path is here. The unicorn is showing there was something unique about your situation, you found your path. You're gonna fulfill your desires here. And there is a happy energy here. Definitely look at that, you're coming together with someone there. Someone you feel happy with and emotional with. You gotta take the risk here. Give it some time, you'll move past the stagnation. You have the wisdom and know-how to make the best choices when it comes to love and romance. Go with the flow here and speak your truth. All right, Gemini, let's move into your career in finance. Okay, so we're going to lay down nine cards for your career in finance. This is going to happen soonest in the next. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, so it looks like with the Magician card energy, you have the skill set, okay, to do what you want here. You have all the skills in place. There's something about this meeting, this party, this socializing here, okay, conference for some of you guys. So let's see more information. What's gonna happen my Gemini's career in finance for now until the end of February? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. We're just going to lay them all down here, Gemini. Okay. 
Okay, let's see here. Yep, there is wishes coming true. So good luck, wishes coming true because you have the skill set. There's something about this group of people. Okay, let's keep going. What's going to have my Gemini's career in advance for now until the end of February? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So it's going to be a meeting about how you have the skill set, and this is going to be a wish come true. Yep, abundance is coming in for you guys. This is an opportunity you've been waiting for. Something about this involves travel or massive changes. And you're going to go and have some fun times here <laughs> because of this sense of achievement. You're definitely going to be in a place like, wow, this is it. I can't believe this. Okay. Something is going to go in your favor. When, what you thought was a temporary situation. There is going to be a new situation that's going to arise out of it. So you thought it was temporary, but it's actually going to be a new, a new division, a new situation, a new uh, fresh start. You're like, wow, I'm so glad I didn't give up on this. You're going to have some options you're going to have to look at here when it comes to this traveling physically or mentally, right? Because you're concerned about a loss here. A loss of time, a loss of a situation. So you're going to get a little bit emotional about it. Okay. Um, there may be some things that may hit you a little bit, like uh, may cause you to feel like there may be some issues. Maybe a little bit overwhelmed. I feel like you're going to get some help or assistance here with it to help fix the situation. When it comes to this potential, unlimited potential here. Okay, let's keep going, Gemini. So things are moving very fast. Eight of Wands energy. And you're really surprised. It's like you have to go back. You're, you're trying not to back down to opposition and show your strength. So it looks like you may have to take on a leadership role here, guys. Um, because there are some things you have to deal with that are in a state of confusion here. Yep, you're going to have to protect your idea or your situation here. So some of you guys have something that you thought was temporary. There's going to be a meeting. You're going to see that you have a skill set and there's something there around that. But it's like something about this is, is like, all right, well, I'm going to have to protect this idea. I have to protect, um, you know, the fact that I need to stand my ground when it comes to how this is going to shape up. Right, there's work or effort, Eight of Pentacles energy, and a shock and surprise. So it looks like you're going to get some advice. This could be an accountant, a lawyer, okay, or possibly someone you feel like could give you some good advice around the situation. Because you're a little bit cautious about it. And you're ready to kind of like, I don't know if I want to walk away from this, I want to avoid this situation. Because something is growing here. It looks like someone's trying to give you some kind of advice about it. You're trying to see the humor in this, try to have fun when dealing with this, but you're getting a little bit stressed overwhelmed. So it looks like you will take a leadership role here with the King of Wands energy. Uh, King of Wands is like a natural born leader, or you could be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius legal energy. Yep, there is a, a door opening up for you, an opportunity opening up for you, which you're really shocked and surprised by the end of the month here but very cautious about it. Okay, so it looks like some of you guys have been working on something, some kind of project here, and there's an abundance of emotions around it. You're very cautious, you've achieved something, and you have a lot of potential, and you're really happy about it. And there's a, a motivation around protecting this, and you're very cautious about it. So it looks like um, there is a wish coming true. We see something about travel, shock and surprise. You're like, wow, I'm really, I'm really happy about this. I'm having a lot of fun. You're getting some assistance from somebody. And I feel like with the tree card to help grow it, because this what you thought was a temporary situation. So now you have to kind of set your boundaries. You gotta, you know, hold your ground on it. Because this opportunity now, you know there's opportunity, the door is opening for you. Okay, so I see that there's a celebration, this meeting, these group of people, 
and there's concerns of the loss here. So you're getting some advice, possibly a lawyer or an accountant or a marketing person. So there's some traveling here or some big changes here and you're wanting to fix the situation. You're getting some advice about this new uh, opportunity offer and there's a surprise which shocks and surprises you. So this is a surprise and it's shocking. <laughs> so the surprise is shocking to you, okay. Because you are about to walk away from it, right? So you have the skill set, you get some confusions, you get some options around money and finance. Opportunities are coming in. There is some concerns about this situation and wanting to walk away. Something will go in your favor very quickly because of an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. So that's what you look for. That Aries Sagittarius Leo energy or you guys are going to take a leadership role when it comes to your creativity and your passions. All right, so what's going to happen? Uh, can I submit back to my Gemini's career in finance for now until the end of February? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Get ready for your blessing. Leave the situation out in the cold because you may get stuck in a situation where you're stuck between two different situations. You got to be loyal to your heart here or there's going to be a stagnation. Get ready for this change, Gemini. Give it some thought. You know what the bigger picture is here, right? You're gonna have to deal with this unfinished business, but you will be happy that you did. This is an offer that you'll love, but just have to clear the air first. Okay, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you. What does Gemini need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that can help them? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I understand that losing something is only an opportunity to appreciate it. Stay in a place of gratitude. Don't let your pride get in the way when it comes to mistakes. Focus on your self-esteem and have a peace of mind. You're going to be able to preserve this situation. Don't be at a crossroads about this situation. Just be honest. When it comes to relationships, trust in the universe and don't doubt yourself. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So if you guys have made it to the end, let me know by hitting that saying blessing in the comments below. I just want to see how many of you guys made it to the end of this video. And also, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.